All right, guys, that's probably about as close as I can get. It looks like it's about a, I hope y'all can see that. Yeah, it's about a degree. I mean, not a degree, about one-tenth of a degree. So I'm probably not going to be able to get anything under it to get it any closer than that. As a matter of fact, the chassis is probably not quite that close. So what I'm going to do from this point is... A matter of fact give me a second I'll come right back all right I hope y'all can see that what I've done is we got the cars level and my straight edge my forefoot level is level and what I'm gonna do is I had to take and uh, get that brake line out of the way so what I'm gonna do I would be happier if that was uh, if it had a full frame on here, this would be easier to do. But what we need to do is scribe a mark on the chassis right there. We need to scribe a mark on this side. Of the chassis and once we get that scribed in there let me see if I can see that oh yeah that's really hard to see I'm gonna come back out here with a paint pen and mark it with a paint pen though oh here in a minute Yeah, we'll have to mark that with a paint pen. See if we can get this behind, in behind this shock. All right. And then we go right up on the other side, and the daggone shock is in the way. Yeah, guys. Hmm. That's going to be problematic. Let me do this differently. Alright guys, I'm trying to get the light where y'all can see that. Alright, what I did was I ended up moving my little jig I made here, got it re-leveled, and put the, the square on the level and come up and pushed it against the axle and scribed a mark right here so now that mark is 90 degrees to the ground we pull the level out come on the other side and went on the back side right up against the right up against the uh, axle scribed a mark that's 90 degrees to the ground now we can measure from here to here and then from here to here and scribe a mark down the middle of it and that's the middle of the car and if this axle came straight up in the in the housing that's where it would land now there's some things we've got to consider we are got to get our uh, trailing arms out and see what arc the axle is going to move in so since this isn't a uh equal length full length and i mean if it was a truck or something that i didn't care about having a back seat in i would do you know equal equal parallel four length or whatever in it so that the pinion and the axle pretty much stayed relatively in the same plane but since this is going to be mounted on a arm, it's going to do that. It's going to be a slight, and we're going to take and measure out what that slightness is going to be um, to figure out how far forward. And all I'm going to put in here is a mini notch. I think I saw a car the other day, and I, I, the guy never got with me on what tires he had, but I'm running 195 70s on the rims that I have now or their 60s but i'm thinking like a 205 75 will probably be fine 
and I'll still be able to lay the car out and only put like a mini C notch in here. And that's kind of where I think I'm going to go now. But uh, that's all I got time for tonight. Um, and uh, we'll measure them arms out when we get a little closer. Like I said, I got to mark the other side. I want to get those marks to where the center of the axle is so I'll know where to center the forward axle when I get ready to put it under there. And there's some other considerations. Um, I saw a car the other day that had an Explorer axle on it and there was some talk about the uh, brakes, uh, the calipers actually hitting the frame. So I may have to notch out for the you know the calipers and stuff so all this stuff is stuff you got to think about you go down these rabbit holes when you're doing modifications and whatnot anyway like and subscribe i appreciate you watching um like i said uh when we get to when i get to the weekend i'm planning on spending as much time saturday as i can getting that floor out i'm i'm stoked about doing the pans by the time we get to the weekend that ought to put me caught up on all my videos for the Fabi daily and um my next video may be i'm gonna i want to go back to wednesdays and sundays so my next next video may be on wednesday of next of next week after you know after february ends that will be a day after or um it may be or two days after uh, the last day of February, the 2nd of March anyway, or it may be the following Sunday. But I wanna start getting y'all a little better content, and I know this doing, working on them every day. It's forced me to get out here and work, but it's not really created great content. But I do appreciate everyone who has watched every video or watched any of the videos. Thank y'all very much, have a good day.